Hi guys, today we're going to run through the new LEAP technology from Tapflow compared to our standard diaphragm pump. So this one here competes and is similar to almost every other pump on the market in terms of the air motor and the air side of the pump. Um, whereas the new low energy technology has been developed here in the UK and is now sold globally through Tapflow Group. So we have a little test rig set up which gives you the standard pump compared to the new technology and we've got your air pressure coming in and we've also got some other nice features which I'll talk you through on this box. So at the moment I've got 0.25 of a bar coming in through here. If I switch that over to the Leap technology, then that's actually ticking over. So the first benefit you get from the Leap pump is that you get unparalleled levels of control. So 0.25 bar, the pump's ticking over, it can't stall. There's no, there's no you know, risk to the pump. Um, at this pressure also, the priming's much better because it's given the balls a chance to seat. So if I turn it up to 0.5, you, you can, the pump's doing quite a lot of strokes at this point. So another nice feature is that I can turn the pump on and off with a 24 volt signal. So just like your solenoid valves in your factory, you can control the pump on, off, on, off. You can also control it with the air. Um, if I now switch the airline back over to the standard technology, so we're going up from 0.5 where it's at, and we keep climbing, we keep climbing, we keep climbing. 1.3, the pump's starting to, to tick over. Um, at this sort of pressure, you're risking a stall on standard pumps because of the, the speed of the shaft. If I transfer that back to the leap pump, you can quite visibly see in here the power. So the leap technology allows you to get a lower flow using lower pressure or a higher open end flow by about 30%. So you can either save a lot, of, a lot of pressure by running it slowly, or you can increase it and get more flow. Another nice feature of the leap pump is that the pump's actually recording every stroke. So it's, it's setting a signal. So what that means is that I can put it onto a batch mode, and this is counting down from 30. This is what you'd program in your PLC unit, and the pump shuts off. Give it the signal again to dose a set amount of fluid, and the pump continues pumping back to 20. The pump can't stall, it has lower noise, lower operational costs on air consumption and parts due to the lower pressures. All in all, the leap pump's where it's at. 